Hello, my name is uh, Chris Reed. Here, um, when you start with the volume equal to one third pi r squared h, you know, height to the cone, and attempt to find the rate of change of volume respect to time, you got two variables because as the liquid rises in this upside down cone, they both change. I want to eliminate the variable h and make it in terms of r so you get down to the single variable because we're given the rate of change of the um, radius being uh, respect to time. So, first of all, we get this relationship. We could say h of r does equal to, uh, you know, back you, how you get your height, which is 40 over 10. That's your slope, and then times r. That's equal to 4, 4 r. Now we can substitute back in our equation. We could say both volume being a function of r does equal to 1 third pi r squared times 4 r. And that's equal to uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now we could take the derivative with respect to time. So now we could say dv dt is equal to, now you bring down the 3, and you get 4 thirds pi times 3r squared, and then the chain rule times dr dt. And, of course, these cancel out. Now you're left with dv dt is equal to, you know, equals to 4 pi r squared times d r um, dt. Okay, now we can, now we have the improper information to, to figure out what the volume, the rate of change of volume respect to time. So let's go to the next board. We'll give it, you know, we're given the dr dt does equal to 20, uh, 20, uh, centimeters per minute and it gives you the proper information what is the ra uh, radius which is at 10 centimeters so now we can just plug in our values so we'll go to the next board so db at dt does equal to um, 4 pi times 10 squared times Okay, let's go back. What is that? And you got 20 centimeters per minute. So that's times 20. So it turns out, and you could probably leave it as pi. This becomes 100. And it's 4 pi times 100 times 20. And you get 2,000. This equals to 8,000 pi centimeters cube. Per minute. So, thanks for watching the video. Give me a comment and just, and if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. And thanks for watching the video.